Welcome aboard everyone, Raindogs85 here, back on the Diggit server. Finally. Good grief, I've had issues. I'll discuss some of that as we're going along. I guess this episode is going to be another kind of walkie round kind of talky deal because I have plans of things I want to do, but I catch up with what has been going on and what I have been doing in the meantime, so let's just get started. I'm back here at my little temporary home with the spawner, the skeleton spawner in there, and I had my fishery over there. I'm still doing good with that. I changed things around, so instead of dropping down the all the way down there, I went ahead and made a little tunnel, well, tunnel elevator outside here, so now you only have to come down to here to get the skeletons, and I fancy fied this up. I like the dripping water. I kind of left it since the spawner's just right up there. I like it. It gives it a little ambiance down here, and I put some moldy, mossy stuff, so been doing good getting items. I have a bunch of arrows here, plenty of bones. I'm getting my bows and lots of armor, so that stuff is still doing good, although I'm wanting to spend more time. Oops. Sometimes I think I might move this out one and put another hopper in there because sometimes the items don't go in. So, um, but yeah, I've been spending more time over at uh, my spawn, my, my spawn at home, my home at spawn. So this might become a somewhat obsolete. All this stuff will eventually get moved. So the only thing will be here. I'll leave the fishing, my little fishing farm here. I'll leave it here. So whenever I do come over here to fish some to get whatever I want, then I can, it'll also be spawning the scalies to get stuff. So. So yeah, I was here farming some trees one day, and I just, I know it was kind of inside, but it kept me somewhat safe, so I left that there. I found me a donkey. I found him, him, him and another one were probably about 200 blocks that way, whichever way that way is. What, what way is it? Towards, did you, uh, losing it, south. So he, there were two of them there. I got one, so I have him there now. Eventually, I'll start using him full time, but I'll head over to the spawn area. Oh! Creeper. <laughs> Whew. I don't know what he was looking at, but he was looking at something else. So I'll head over to the spawn area and show what all I've been doing. Oh, I need some food on me bar. Show what all what I've been doing over there. So be right back. Actually, I changed my mind. Instead of being right back, I will you will journey over with me as I do discuss a little bit what has been going what has been going on. It's just still computer issues. I've been round and round with some support and still haven't gotten it figured out. So I still have my issues and that's why I haven't really been recording. I've been playing on it some. You'll see what all I've been up to, but it's just it, uh, just it's not ow! Where are, you, where are you at? Oh, you're right there. It's just not been... Oh, crap. There's a bunch more over there. Run away. Ow. Run away. Don't die. Oh, I don't have any armor on. That's one reason why. I took it off so I could do my whole intro. Um, it's just not been stable, so it's been so up and down. Let me put my armor back on real quick. That, whoop, no, what am I pressing the wrong button? It's just been... It's not been stable, so I haven't been wanting to try to record. So we'll see how this recording session goes. Here is the nice little brewing... Uh, area that um, Trickman built for us. So you can check out one of his videos. He shows how that goes. Oh, there goes Major. He was on for a few minutes. I'm the only... Oh, I was. It was the two of us, but now I'm, he's gone. So back here at Spawn, I think the last video that I had put up, I didn't want to give this away, but here's 241's little slime guy selling his slime. Oh, I missed it. Of course. Of course I miss it. I didn't want to give it away, but he said he didn't care if I gave it away. But still, sometimes it's not fun spoiling guys' work. So you pop up in there. Boing, boing. And he has free slime blocks and donations in the same way to get out. And I usually miss this one. So let's see. Oop, I don't want to shift. Oh, see? Oh, oh, I, see, I knew it. It's going to be... No, I wasn't stepping on it, I promise. Dagnabbit. I'm not shifting. Why am I walking so... There we go. Now we get out. And bounce down here. Whee! 
then I forget who was it. Major said he put up the me community message boards. I can't remember if he said he put up that or not. Oh, then back here, Trickman has also made an ice farm somewhere in a secret location. He has not disclosed as of yet, so he built a little place here for payment chest and ice blocks. So if you need ice or anything, alternate payment chest. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably maybe somebody's fooling around. I don't know who has built this. I, I like the looks of it, but I don't know who built that yet. And then I'll show you what I built over here real quick. Well, a couple things that I built here at spawn. You can already see one. Okay. So I took all the, well, not all of, but using my, using the arrows and bones and bows that I'm getting from my skeleton farm, I built this little it's not really a shop because I'm not selling them. I'm just giving them away just so guys can have them if they need them. So I've got a little bow and a quiver and some arrows. And you just come over in here. And you'll see what is marked. We have plenty of arrows if you go on. Plenty of bone. And some bows. I need to bring some more. I need to repair a couple. I have some, a few other enchanted bows over there. Then a little box for donations. Like I said, I've received a few things so far. So thank you to the guys who have put that up, put those in there. I put uh, some wool here. Kind of looks like a little bit of an arrow head there. I think I might make a couple banners in the next one and maybe put those there or there. I've found a design. I've monkeyed around for a long time about making one and I couldn't get it the way I liked. So I went, oh, let's just look it up on the internet. And yeah, I found one pretty quick. So. That was nice. So that, and then I finally, I wanted to save it. I actually, I had recorded me building this, and it was a, a disaster. Me, me and building is an issue. <laughs> I thought I had everything that I needed, but I had to make about six or seven trips back to my temporary place for more. It, it was a disaster. So I recorded that, and then lesson learned i had i have a blue snowball microphone so i had usually have it plugged in usb port in the front and every once in a while i'll unplug it for things so i'd plugged it back back in checked i used dx story to record and i checked my channels i had three channels set up i checked my channels it was check bark check check bark check mark mark box the box was checked so i was like okay it's going to record <sighs> when i when, when you unplug it it defaults back to the default one or it goes back to the default so i didn't even look that it didn't say it was not the right one so it didn't record my voice so then i was just going to add a video together and just do post commentary well, it then stuff got corrupted and, and or deleted or lost and all my computer issues so I just left it so there it is and the same thing with this I was wanting to build this this is my home this is my replica of Jack Skellington's house from Nightmare for Christmas with my own little personal flair and touches because it was for anyone who's seen the movie that everything there in town is pretty much gray and black and drab so I use some different building materials to give it some little bit of life. I think it turned out alright. My daughter helped me with a few things about deciding on some of the stones. So, yeah, the, the, that, this building process wouldn't have been fun for me to try to build on camera. So, I will actually... I, I don't have it furnished yet. I did move my bed over to here. Is it good? No, it's not. Put on this. I haven't slept over here yet. So, I don't have it furnished yet. So, I do think I have it planned out, hopefully what I want to do in here is kind of minimal it's nothing great because it's not too much room and then there's a little bit of a room up here and I have I had plans for this and that was part of it but uh yeah I do I think next episode or maybe the one after that I will deck this place out and do it that way so you can kind of go along on that journey with me so yeah, it was a lot of modification. I'd still need to do the little stone wall. He had a, a wall and a gate 
in front of his house. I still need to build that. And then, let's see, can we take a little peek? Oh, you can probably already hear him. I have a villager down here. I've been breeding villagers. I'll show you what my plan is for that. A little, oops. Ah. Uh, ah! There we go. Oh, creeper. I keep getting creepers. I'm going to have to seal this off. Okay, i got to get my bow ready. I need to seal this off a little bit better. Because I keep getting creepers. Do I have any cobble? I have some cobble on me. Let's just go ahead and seal this off real quick. Because I keep coming down here. Where's the zombie yet? He's going to be annoying. Oops. Oh, wow. wait. You're going to be able to get up there, aren't you? Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to turn you hostiles down because you're rather loud. And maybe you guys too. Okay. Um... Yeah, I keep getting creepers down here. Or past couple times I've been getting a creeper down here. Anyway, uh, back on track. Okay, so this is where I've been setting up my... Doing this because I get some baby villagers from down there every once... I mean, villager, baby zombies down there. Even though I, I know they can't get through the doors, it's just annoying. Uh, actually, I put this up because I was transporting, transporting, transferring one villagers from one side to the other. So here is my temporary... Holding cell for my villagers. I have a farm. I don't have any farmers over here right now, but I have all the stuff ready for them so they can get stuff if he wants to try to tra trade. I have my breeder cell guy up there. And like I said, I've been transferring. I've transferred a couple guys over here. One guy on purpose, the other guy on accident. We're not on. I think we're on normal, so I really don't need the iron doors. To protect them, but I don't want them going in and out of the wooden doors all the time. So, oh, ah, crud. So that's why I have those up for now. Eventually, I will change them. But here's what I have going on in here. I have the one that there he is. There's my one brown coat. What is he? He is a shepherd, but he still will. Any of the brown coats will harvest uh, wheat. But hey, you left a potato back there. Uh, wheat potatoes and carrots so I have them kind of breeding to see if I can get another one. I keep getting getting the white coats librarians which is good because I do oh you're not big enough. I do need librarians because I need to find some trades for some name tags because I still need my name tags. Oh I should have I think I'm up to eight eight or nine name tags now but I still need a lot more. So I've been letting these guys breed over here for right now but I keep getting librarian what are you? You're a leather worker. I don't need you. You're a toolsmith. I don't need you. So you m might be sacrificed. And then I'm going to have a wheat farm over here. So I need three more brown coats for over here. I might get one more brown coat for over here. But he seems to be doing an okay job by himself so far. Let's see what I've got potato-wise. Potato Oops, that was a really quick flash. Potatoes-wise are doing pretty good. And I have also been working a lot on uh, um, just a little testing thing so like say maybe either this episode or in the next episode I will do the uh, furnishing in my house and then the one after that I'm going to prepare this I have some of it prepared but I'm gonna to need to pre prepare some more because keep having to change the ideas but or the planning of it but I'm gonna use these guys and use the potatoes and I'm gonna build up a little cooker so it'll all the potatoes get down in the cooker and sort out the poisonous potatoes and then shoot them back up to a chest right here. So all I'll have to do is come in here. Oops. <laughs> Don't click on it with dirt. Just open the chest and get out some baked potatoes anytime I need. And then the same will just the the villagers. I'll be able to have plenty of wheat and bread. Well mostly bread. So that is what's been going on. Like I said, it's been computer issues, so I'm just gonna try to power through it. If I have problems, then there'll just be cuts and breaks every once in a while. It held fast, held steady for this episode at least. So those are, whoops, wrong button. So those are my plans. That's what I've been doing. Oh, I wanted to show something else. Is, uh, let me go outside just real quick. I keep hitting the wrong button. Let me go outside real quick. Let me see now. Am I going to get lucky enough? Nope, not now. Okay, I'll save it for another one. I'd already done it once, but there was another other footage, so I'll save it for another one. Oh, I had built this little potato farm up here, 
because I thought I needed to have it up here for the village. It was a, a pain. Anyway, so that's going to about do it for this episode. Hopefully there will be plenty more to come with this series. I have some ideas for a couple other series I want to do. So like I said, I'm just going to have to power through it and hopefully it'll turn out okay because I enjoy this. I have a lot of fun doing it. I like the process of it too. I like editing the videos. Some may say it's foolish but silly and crazy but I have fun doing it. It's been kind of not depressing but it's been frustrating with everything that's going, been going on so hopefully I will get things done and get things moving from here on so I can have more content. So thanks for those who have been sticking around and sticking with it. I appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye.